Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and I have Firefox 3 all up installed. It is officially released, guys, so go ahead and head over to Mozilla.com and uh, download Firefox 3, guys. It's much more stable, faster, efficient. And I just tweaked mine right out of the box to show you what it looks like, and it looks really, really great, guys. It's really, really awesome. Um, so I just wanted to go through it and show you uh, some new features. Now, uh, here's mine. This is not what it looks like out of the box, but I'm going to show you first off how to get the new interface much more slimmer and efficient. So look how thin that is, guys, just from you know, a page like that in revenue. So first off, you have a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, menus right here by default when you uh, first install Firefox 3. And if you had tiny menu from the previous add-on on Firefox 2, then it should import right into Firefox 3. But not all add-ons will be compatible right out of the box. Like uh, if you have AVG Safe Search, uh, Tabmix Plus, the p version 2 won't be out because it's not updated yet, it's in beta stages. So you're going to have to install some that weren't, uh, you know, you have to install some of the new versions or you have to wait for the creator of the add-on to update it for Firefox 3. Now, um, so first off, you're going to want to head over to Google if you haven't already installed Tiny Menu and go ahead and install something called, the add-on called Tiny Menu and restart your browser after you installed it. It's from the Firefox add-ons page. And then uh, you can, you know, obviously slim that all down and then you just want to hit Customize. I should say if I can get it there. Customize and just drag everything that you don't need into here and drag everything you do need up. And you have a little quarter called navigation toolbar. So you know what that looks like. Uh sorry. Now where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here you go. Navigation toolbar. That's where your stuff is by default, all of this stuff. Because they put the menu on a separate bar and I don't really like that. I like having more screen space. So drag everything for your navigation toolbar when you go to customize. Drag everything on your up here. Like for example if by default the address bar is on the navigation toolbar along with all these buttons just drag it up here hit done and then you don't need this navigation toolbar for now so uncheck it and you don't really need the bookmarks toolbar because you can obviously hit control B and access your bookmarks now uh... when you open up your bookmarks for the first time on firefox 3 you're gonna wonder hey where are all my bookmarks well by default on firefox 3 everything is an unsorted here if you hit bookmarks menu it'll show all your bookmarks that you have saved in your folders I obviously don't have that much because um, I, I I have to start saving more of my bookmarks. They all got deleted, and uh, you can always back them up. I believe if you go to where is it somewhere in somewhere in here, but uh, tools options maybe in there. Uh, I'm not gonna really go into that, but or, or maybe it's in bookmarks right here. Where is it? Uh, if you go to bookmarks and hmm, okay, you can organize them right there. There should be a way to save them, but I'm not. Well, anyways, I'll get into that later on, maybe another video. But anyhow, Firefox 3, like I said, is much faster in loading HTML and JavaScript pages. Uh, and obviously, there's a new theme to it. Uh, there's also, and uh, it's much more sleeker. And the, if you note in the address bar, you'll see this little button right here, which is called the identity button. If you're to click it, what happens is it shows the identity and all the security information about the page. Now, all pages won't have it by default. Uh, or I mean, not default. All pages might not have it. More likely, when you get to like buying pages, you know, uh, stuff like when you're buying something from a site or a company branded page, like uh, it may not have it on iGoogle, but maybe if you go to like you know a Google official, uh, I don't know, maybe like AdSense or something like that, and hit more information, it'll show you some stuff, and it'll even tell you how many times you visited the page, even if they don't have identity stuff. Uh, I'll tell you if you have any saved passwords on here. And is your website storing information on my computer? I'll tell you all that stuff. All the cookies in there, all the saved passwords if you have any. Really, really great feature. So, always check that out. Uh, it's called the, yeah, it's the identity button. Well, uh, I believe the official name is like the Larry button or something like that, but yeah. Anyhow, bookmarking pages in uh, Firefox 3 is pretty easy. Just hit uh, basically you just hit bookmark and then it's already bookmarked right now as you see there but if you double click it again to edit the bookmark and I'm gonna say I Google it's an unsorted bookmark so I'm gonna tell it to put it in the bookmarks menu under our yeah bookmarks menu and then I'm gonna say oh I'm gonna go into it and go to technology and say done and then when I go to control B bookmarks menu it's right under technology right there so that's how you bookmark pages and it's really really great easy way simple and you can view all your history right here now this is what they call the search address bar and the awesome bar in Firefox 3 
this right here, what it'll allow you to do is when you are typing a keyword or any letter, it'll start to, you know, go and look into your history and your private data to see what it can find out. Now, uh, some people may not like this, you know, and if you have any privacy sites that you, you know, you visit uh, commonly or, you know, something like that, you don't want people, you know, finding that out. Deleting history was one thing, but now you have the awesome bar. Now I'm going to teach you real quick how to disable that feature in Firefox 3. Now, if you go into Firefox 3 and type in about colon config, you're going to get this warning say, uh, this may avoid your warranty, I'll be careful, I promise. Uh, and you will, don't worry. So now you're just going to type in browser dot URL match. And, no, hang on, I should just type in, just type in browser dot URL and then look for the one that says dot, uh, I mean, browser dot URL bar dot match only typed. And you're, what you're going to do is change it to true, oh, sorry, wrong one. Change it to true. I keep on clicking the wrong one. And then after that, you can. Uh, I, I want it on, but what you want to do, or actually, I guess, oh, yeah, no, just change it to true. And then uh, after that, restart fire, restart Firefox, and then come back in. And then once you're back in, I don't want it really. So once you're back in, you're gonna have to clear private data so all the history doesn't show. And then you know how to do that. Obviously, you go into a. Uh, your tools, and you can go into your options, and then you will. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Hang on. Uh, and then you're gonna want to go into uh, your privacy, and just hit clear now, and then hit clear private data, and then hit OK. And then after that, restart the browser one more time, and when you come back and you type, it won't be there. Now for me, obviously, it's still there because I want it on. So yeah, so that's how you disable the awesome bar feature. Um, and that just signifies if you have a bookmarked page or not. So yeah. Um, now, getting more into compatibility, like I said, out of the box, Firefox 3 won't be compatible with all your add-ons. One add-on by, uh, you know, specifically is TabMix Plus. Now, if you type in TabMix Plus Firefox 3, you'll get the developer build, uh, from the forums, and I'll post the link. It's going to be, you have to go into here, and then you have to go to his, uh, right here, click developer build, and, and so he's, they talk about it on the forums. And then there's something like it says something like developer build. Uh, I'll get the link for you, and I'll put it in the video description to the right. It's, it's in this page, but you have to search for it. It's right there. So uh, I'll leave this link in the video description on the right. Go ahead and click it and download it. It's a really great add-on that basically has a lot of features, like tab features where you can make multi rows or you know single rows stuff like that. It's really really great. So like I said, uh, see if I go to a certain number, it automatically uh, yeah it automatically uh, goes into another row rather than what it does by default is uh, make a scroller and I don't really like that. So guys this is uh, Firefox 3 and I showed you how to get tiny menu how to make it more slim of a more slim uh, interface and the great thing about t Firefox 3 also some other features like it hides when you if you don't have if you only have one tab open it'll hide it. Now I'm not, I don't think Firefox oh Firefox 2 does do that. Okay, never, oh Firefox 2 uh, well, actually, I don't think Firefox 2 did that. I'm not positive, but it just makes saves a lot of screen p space and it makes the um, thing look much more efficient. So I don't know. Just the Firefox 3 made it look much more sleek. It uh, made a lot, lot more web page uh, revenue uh, available. And yeah, so guys, download if you haven't downloaded it. You can be setting a record. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, they beat the Guinness World Record. That's what they're trying to do. So today's download day, guys. Head over to Mozilla.com, download it right now. Um, it's much more fast, as I said. I already showed off some stuff, uh, and I'll even right now show you some stuff like YouTube, for example. That's a lot of flash on it. Uh, even flash, it's pretty good at loading right out of the box. And all your plugins will be installed right out of the box. Like this is so flash, and everything will be up there. And like I said, guys, it's really fast. I, uh, it's really really great. Uh, at loading stuff like YouTube, Twitter, all that stuff that's really, really great at. You can check out, you know, those pages that have a lot of Flash or JavaScript and really put it to the test. And you'll notice the difference, guys. Um, uh, and if you're still on IE, come on, now you got to switch, guys. This is really, really, really much, much more customizable. Very, very, very fast. And even, I don't know if it's more secure in aspects, it is very secure compared to IE, so check it out, and you can even get more add-ons to make it even more secure. So, you can check out add-ons at Mozilla's page also, at Mozilla.com, and you're going to see much more tutorials from uh, Firefox 3 
on Firefox 3 from me coming up soon, so stay tuned for those guys. Anyways, guys, this is my first look at Firefox 3, and it gets two thumbs up. as a great browser, and my favorite browser, obviously. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, and check out the video description for all the links.